Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we have a bunch of exciting stock market news and notable earnings reports. Plus, we'll take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is some exciting news that TipRanks now has a community tab on each of their stocks. So you can head over to this community page, share your thoughts and insights on specific stocks and see what other investors have to say. So make sure you go and check it out. All right, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green so far this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.18%, and then S&P 500 and NASDAQ futures are both up 0.07%. Texas-based real estate investment trust Cyrus One has signed an agreement under which it will be acquired by global investment firm KKR & Company in a deal worth $15 billion. Cyrus One is engaged in the design, construction, and operation of over 50 data centers across the world. As per the terms of the agreement, KKR will assume Cyrus One's debt and buy all of its outstanding common shares for $90.50 per share. The acquisition is expected to close in the second quarter of next year, following which Cyrus One's common shares will not be listed on any public market. The Cyrus One stock is currently rated a hold with a slight downside, while the KKR stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 14%. Amazon Web Services has teamed up with International Business Machines, or IBM, to help accelerate energy transition in the oil and gas industry. According to the terms of the agreement, IBM's Open Data for Industries, IBM Cloud Pack for Data, and AWS Cloud will be integrated to benefit the energy industry. The combination will help reduce data barriers for the energy companies and reduce the cost, time, and resources required to streamline their operations, further enabling a smooth transition to sustainable energy options. The Amazon stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 15%, while the IBM stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 34%. Real estate investment trust American Tower has signed an agreement to acquire rival Corsite Realty Corp in a deal worth over $10 billion. The acquisition, which is likely to close by the end of the year, is expected to be modestly accretive to American Tower's AFFO per share in the beginning. Corsite is a Colorado-based real estate investment trust that owns, acquires, builds, and operates strategically located data centers. At the end of the third quarter, the company had 25 data centers, 21 cloud on-ramps, and more than 32,000 interconnections in eight markets across the U.S. American Tower is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 16%, while Foresight is rated a hold with a downside of over 8%. Shares of data platform Splunk Incorporated dropped 18% yesterday after it was announced that their CEO, Doug Merritt, was stepping down from his position. The company also shared preliminary Q3 results. Merritt has been the president and CEO of Splunk for the past six years. Graham Smith, the chair of Splunk's board of directors, will act as the interim CEO and Merritt will serve as an advisor for the smooth transition. For their preliminary Q3 results, they're expecting their cloud ARR to be up about 75% year over year. Total revenues are likely to be up 19%. Meanwhile, their non-GAAP operating margin is expected to be around a negative 14%. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 34%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. We heard from some big names in the pre-market that we're gonna get to in just a second. And in the after hours today, we'll be hearing from Stone Co, Tattoo Chef, Lazy Boy, and Best Incorporated. Just this morning, we heard from retail giant Walmart, who came in ahead of earnings expectations. Price-sensitive grocery shoppers have been flocking to their stores amid rising costs for household staples. Their earnings per share came in at $1.45 versus the $1.40 expected. Revenue came in at $140.53 billion versus $135.6 billion expected. Their stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of over 16%. We also heard from Home Depot, who also came in ahead of analyst expectations thanks to continued demand for home improvements amidst a strong housing market. 
Revenue for the number one home improvement retailer rose 9.8% to $36.82 billion, well above analyst estimates of $34.95 billion. Their same store sales grew 6.1%, beating the consensus of 2.4% growth, while their U.S. same store sales rose 5.5%, ahead of the analyst expectations of 2.3%. Their stock is rated a strong buy with a half a percent downside due to recent growth surpassing many of the price targets already and a couple holds with a downside. Meanwhile, shares of Riot Blockchain have been dropping after the company reported a widening net loss. The company reported a net loss of $15.3 million, which was wider than the net loss of $1.7 million in the same quarter last year. They did report total revenue of $64.8 million, which was up over 2,500% from the $2.5 million posted in the prior year. Their mining revenues rose over 2,000% and stood at $53.6 million. Their stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 13%. And we also heard from Lucid Motors, whose stock is rising despite posting a wider than expected net loss and missing expectations on revenues. Lucid reported a loss of $0.43 per share against the street's estimates of a loss of $0.25 per share. They reported a loss of $0.64 per share in the prior year quarter. Their revenues of $232,000 did miss the consensus estimates of $1.25 million and decreased over 30% year-over-year. During the quarter, the company did expand its footprint to 13 locations, aligning with its expected customer demand. With just three current analyst ratings, the stock is rated a moderate buy, with price targets ranging from a downside of 73% to an upside of over 33%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Axon Enterprise, as investors are reacting favorably to their Q3 earnings. Under the ticker AXON, their shares are currently up nearly 24%. They're followed by the Porch Group under PRCH, whose shares are up over 10% following their third quarter results. And Rackspace Technology under the ticker RXT, they're up 8.3% once again following their third quarter results. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Riot Blockchain, who, as we discussed, posted a widening loss. Under the ticker RIOT, they're currently down nearly 9%. They're followed by Clover Health Investments under CLOV. Their stock is down over 8% after offering 35 million of common stock. And Desktop Metal under the ticker DM also down over 8% after posting a larger than forecasted Q3 loss. So that is going to be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.